Hi KMS, Mrs. Hines here. So today we're going to be using our VRVEX.com account to use the dynamic wall maze map. So please open up um, your website, open up the playground, and scroll down until you see dynamic wall maze. So let's look at the third person and what does that mean? You're going to code we're going to give your robot directions on how to navigate this maze. It may be helpful for you to look at the third person view on the lower right hand corner of playground or the top view. What I found in the third person is you actually can fall out of the maze very easily. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to prevent that. And basically think about your robot navigating the maze as you would. What is the first thing you might do? You might see with your eyes that there's a wall in front of you. So you might wanna tell your robot to turn. Imagine using your right hand and navigating this maze. If there's a wall on the right hand side, you'll continue to go forward. But if there's not, then you'll go right. If there's nowhere to go right, you'll turn left. We're gonna write an if else code to do that with your robot. So let me bring you over to the code. For time purposes, I have it up here already. You can see that it's color coordinated and we're gonna use the step to walk you through how the robot makes these decisions. So I'm gonna set my velocity to 50%. That's how fast your robot travels. In order to stay in the maze, I am gonna add this block of code. The first thing my robot's gonna do is turn right. I know that way it'll either see a maze wall or see a space to walk forward. If the robot turns right, it's gonna make a decision. Is there enough space for it to move? This robot is set up on a grid and we're gonna use um, each of these squares are approximately 200 uh, millimeters. So we're going to say if there's enough space to move 260 millimeters, then do that. We're going to move 250. That tolerance will make sure that our robot doesn't slam into the wall. So, all right. If that is true, if there's enough space to go forward, then we're going to drive forward and we're going to take a right hand turn. Is there still enough space to go forward? then continue to go forward and it will stay in this part of the loop. If it cannot go forward when turning right, it's going to turn left. And that's when it will jump down to this statement. What's neat about um, the software here is you can run it by step. So it's gonna run through the code, it's gonna set the velocity and just keep going. I'm gonna turn right 90 degrees. All right, now it's in the forever loop. It's going to see, is there enough distance in front? There's not. So it's gonna run this else part. It should turn left. It does. Okay, so step by step, you can see that it's going to continue to navigate this maze. Okay, so let me just stop my program. I'm going to refresh it. I'm going to look at the top view. It's going to be able to navigate any maze with this program. You can add this to yours, test it out, screenshot it, and add it to your portfolio. All right, KMS, that's task two. Task one, let me just pull this off of here. Hopefully you're using Google Classroom to see the example here. So let's pull it up. Task one is to use the wall maze. You're gonna start on this green dot and you're gonna use wait force. There's more than one way to use sensors. You can use loops, that's what that if else statement did, but you can also use this thing for weights. The left bumper is like if you were using a touch sensor. So this program would drive forward if the touch sensor is pressed, it would bump into a wall. Therefore, it would turn left and drive forward again. It'll do this in order to get to uh, A. See how far you can get in this maze using the wait for commands. All right, KMS, good luck coding in VEX today. Make sure that you um, 
name your programs and then save to your drive if you want to keep them forever but definitely screenshot so again when you click that print screen button or that screen capture option you're going to go back to your portfolio and please add this to your um, portfolio so we've done a few lessons this week on the specs coding and it looks like a lot of stuff you should be really proud to show it off so on monday we crashed into the castle on Tuesday, yesterday, we used the pen tool. We drew squares. We also drew polygons. Perhaps you drew your initials. And today we're using sensors to navigate the maze, both the wall maze to see how far you can get using weight fours and bumpers. That would be like if we're using touch sensors. And this one's going to be using um, ultrasonic sensors, basically the distance sensor. The code is available to you. So please check out Mrs. Heinz's site um, you can look at my code. Be sure to try it on your own. It's not going to work the first time. You may have to um, try, try again. I'm really excited to help you out during the Google Meet. If you need any help, please join the Google Meet. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing your updates on your portfolio and happy coding, KMS.